When you talk about survival horror genre, everyone's mind shoots to the big two franchises, Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Both are great games, and both offer something very different from one another. But they are the quarterback and the running back of the survival horror football team. While everyone's focused on the two glamour positions, others get forgotten, even if they are actually better at times. This is somewhat the fate of Fatal Frame, which is like the left guard of the football team. Almost as important, but never really makes the highlight reel. Released in 2001 in Japan and 2002 in North America, the game focuses on Miku and is said to be based on a true story. She decides to go looking through a haunted mansion in search of her missing brother, who has disappeared after visiting. Miku shows up, armed only with her trusty flashlight, and starts snooping around the mansion, only to find, huh, what was that? Find out that the mansion has a dark past. I'll tell you one thing, no matter how rich I ever become, I am never buying a used mansion. I'm building my own. Unless the mansion came with a fireman's pool and a zoo in the backyard. I can deal with some ghosts if I had lions to protect me. Anyway, fantasies aside, after arriving at the mansion, Miku quickly figures out that something is not right and continues to explore. She stumbles upon the camera obscure, which is her only weapon against the ghosts that haunt the mansion. Imagine the camera being your nightlight after you watch a scary movie as a child. You explore the mansion with your flashlight, solving puzzles, you know, the standard survival horror thing. Suddenly, you'll notice a light in the corner change to a different color, and it tells you a ghost is near. You would think that this would take away from the scare factor, but it actually adds to it. When you see that light change color, trust me, every hair on your body will stand straight up as you anticipate finding the ghost. And when you encounter the ghost, you pull out the camera obscure and get ready. Ghosts are apparently very camera shy and will be destroyed if you take their picture enough times. You stand still in first person view and wait for the ghost to get closer and closer and closer. And then you need to snap their picture. And this deals a great amount of damage. The closer the ghost is to you, the more damage you will do. But if they get too close, they hurt you. This really adds to the tension as you try to keep the ghost in the frame as they keep disappearing and reappearing trying to avoid their picture being taken like a celebrity just getting out of drug rehab. The game has a great atmosphere and really brings you in. You will be tense as you walk around and anticipate the ghost, but having not seen one yet. One thing though, do yourself a favor and play this game after the sun has gone down and with the lights off. It really adds to the scares when the only light in the room is Miku's flashlight. You will play this game with one eye open as you peek out from under your blanket. It is, in my opinion, the scariest game I've ever played. You will be terrified to look around each corner as you walk through the house. If you are a fan of the genre or you're looking for a good scare, I can't recommend this game more. Just don't get mad at me when you can't go to sleep at night without holding on to your Scooby-Doo blanket. 